Hello, welcome to this mod. It's called Infernal Skies. It does let you change the sky color to wherever you want. So I um, just looked up my favorite color, which is turquoise. And I looked up this thing called a tetrad to try to get all the other things. And then I converted all the numbers into floating point. So I'm gonna see if I can get it to work. Uh, not help. All right, so we'll go sky color. We're in dimension zero. And I believe we just need to put the RGB values in a floating point. So, just got three significant figures here. I don't know if that's going to be going to work. We'll see. Um, and so this should give me turquoise. Now I could put in a delay, but apparently the delay is 5,000 milliseconds as a default. Let's see if it works. pretty cool that's pretty awesome actually all right so I've got like I said I've got the tetrad so let's put in some of the other ones let's just mess around with this all right so the up so this one is called ready because I don't think it's got a name um, let's put the full in this time let's put in 20 uh, actually it's a millisecond isn't it Seconds? It probably is. I think it said 5,000 is default, so this should be exactly the same. This is 6,000. Alright, is that okay? This should be a red sort of colour now. Nice. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Now, I wonder what happens if I put in. If you put in a negative value, it will disable it, but I'm not really interested in disabling it at the moment. If you put in a, ne apparently put in a negative value for any of the RGB values, it will disable it, but like I said, I don't want to disable it just in case I can't enable it again. Um, it does say you can put in values over one, though. Can I actually just put in the regular, did I even need to convert, convert to floating point? I wonder. Let's just put in turquoise, normally. No, it doesn't work. You have to put in floating point, I think. All right, so we'll just check out. Let's go back, just, I'll just check out and fucked it. I think I have the. No, yeah, we didn't like that, well. What about this one then? With the ready colour. Seems to be okay. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how. What are you supposed to How can you put numbers higher than one in then? What if I put in this 1.314 here? Is that still gonna. Uh, no, actually, let's not do that. Let's do. Um, uh, all right, let me just try the other colours first. So we've got this yellowy colour as well. Hmm. Got the bluey colour as well. This is just basically the whole tech thread. I gotta say that blue is pretty cool, especially with the sea there. Um, so what if I did go back to this? Uh, this is yellow, and then I just change the value to one point two five one or three point two five one. It's gonna go back. To I don't think it's working. I wonder, I wonder what that means then. Because in the config so you can put values over one in. Well, I don't know what that means. But certainly, um, if you just put... So yeah, so I mean, I mean, I guess that's all I can really say about this. Basically, uh, I'm not entirely sure about it, but what I do know is as long as you just put the floating point RGB values in, uh, 
everything seems to, you know, it works pretty cool. Uh, and you can just get whatever sky color you want. Uh, and this works in the overworld and the nether. And obviously in the nether you would just um, um, just change the dimension to minus one. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I quite like, I quite like uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. Uh, the other one I did. I think it does, it gets rid of all the. Uh, it's not going to not going to look any different at night time, is it? I don't think it's going to. I think it's just like literally just a flat color. I don't know. Hmm. But it's still cool to be able to change the color um, of the sky. And yeah, you can do that in uh, other dimensions. So that's a pretty cool mod, I think. Um, anyway, thanks for watching.